Thanks for coming out. We'll throw it out to some questions for Coach Tom Brand. <coughs> Uh, yeah, I just set out in the hallway. I think sometimes you got to give yourself a little credit, so give our guys credit. And they wrestled. Um, I think, I mean, there were some bonus points, and we needed bonus points. Um, you know, you're not wrestling Clark, and you're not wrestling our heavyweight, and, um, you know, so it's one match at a time, but we'll take all the points we can get. Sam Brooks started off good, and that's what we want. So we'll, we'll give our guys some credit. Phil's uh, filled in when, whenever needed. Uh, somebody that's always kind of reliable. He gets a win. Uh, that's going to be good for, for him stepping in and, and getting a victory. Huge for him. Um, that's something that, you know, as a coach or as a coaching staff, you key on. Um, that success is critical to keeping a guy going. Um, the opportunity that he's had this year because of Clark, um, he seized it. He hasn't wasted his time or just gone out there and just kind of some guys maybe dink around a little bit, but he's been serious about it. He's going to factor into our future, and um, he's done a good job. He's making progress, and that was a big win for him. When you look at Gunther, he really forced the action for most of the match, and just uh, right at the you know in overtime, it kind of didn't go his way. Well, when you get a guy like that, you don't let him off the hook, and we let him off the hook, and um, you know that guy got to us twice, I think, in regulation where we were had our leg up in the air. We did a good job of getting heavy, getting the foot back down on the mat, and then you know in overtime, a guy like that, he's going to seize the moment, and we can't let a guy off the hook. And what I mean by that is, if you get a guy in that position, go to your offense. We never really got our shot off, and we got offense. It's just a matter of you know getting that offense off, and, and good things can happen. And I, I don't know if we understand that yet. Um, when I say we, I'm talking about me and him. Um, I understand it, but that doesn't do him any good if he doesn't understand it. So we got to get on the same page there where, hey, you get that, that control tie of yours and you feel it, it's not going to be there very long. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be there and then it's gone. And that's what great wrestlers do is when it's there, they go. And when you have that opening, you got to go. And there were a couple of times where I think he could have went. And the thing is, is he's making progress. So like I said, you got to give yourself some credit. Again, it's not a moral victory, but we, we just, there's some things we could have done to make that go our way in the W column. And, you know, I'll say something good about that guy. That guy's got good character. That's a guy that is a senior for them. He's been around a long time, and um, I got a lot of respect for that guy, but not to the point where, you know, he's, he's not beatable. And, you know, we needed to seize the moment there. That was, that was big, but, um, you know, we just keep moving along. We got another match. We got a uh, Juan Zach maybe 165 on Sunday there, Gunther. So another match we got to get ready for. What do you see different uh, from Topher Carton this week and, and tonight? Um, he's had a stretch also, uh, but everybody's had a stretch. It's a Big Ten, and you just got to get ready to go. And he finished the match, and that's what I mean when I when I was out in the hall and I said, give ourselves some credit. You know, give yourself some credit for finishing that match and getting bonus points. I mean, made your decision there, and um, wrestling the whole match, putting a ride on the guy, and uh, going to your offense not just once, not twice, but you know, three or four times, and, and making it pay off for you. And one was a stalemate again at the end of the first period where we got them go behind, and then it's two to one, and then we're into the high crotch, and then we never went back to our offense against say uh, Gulaban. And this time we went back to our offense. Similar ranked guys there. And, um, you know, we're going to see Thorne, a similar ranked guy again on Sunday. So just, again, keep making progress. What did I see that's different? More attempts over the seven minutes. And, you know, if you heard Terry in the corner talking about strong, you're strong the entire match, it's important. We've got to wrestle seven minutes there. That's big. That's big, seven minutes there. He's still getting in tip top shape, too. Still getting in tip-top shape. What went into the decision at this point? Yeah. Uh, just being smart. You got the number two ranked guy there. Um, we're going to see uh, Krolls on Sunday. Um, you know, it's one of those things. We're going to sit Wilkie on Sunday. Uh, we're going to wrestle Bowman at 97. It's just a smart thing to do with these young guys. It's been, a, it's been a gauntlet, and we believe in this team that they can pick up the slack other places with bonus points and whatnot. And again, um, giving these guys a little bit of uh, maybe R&R &R without the R. A little bit of rest maybe without the recreation. 
Clark can wrestle on Sunday. Clark will go on Sunday. Clark's injury, I'm getting a lot of phone calls from fans and stuff, and they want to know what's up, and there's no story to it. There's no story to it. It's about being smart. It's about the mileage on a fifth-year senior and being really, really smart. Holloway then on Sunday. Holloway, yes. And Holloway, you know, he didn't really like the decision. He listened and nodded in agreement, but you could tell that he wanted to go tonight. And, you know, you explained to him that it's not it had nothing to do with you know, our belief in your potential or our belief in your ability. If anything, it has more belief in our, um, it has more, you know, belief in what your potential is because we're going to do the right thing. We're going to train you and we're going to bring you along the right way. So, you know, after listening, I think he came to terms with it. But these guys are competitors. They want to wrestle. They want to prove themselves. Um, it was good because there were a couple times where we had some matches that went our way in the win column, but, you know, our positions were exposed. And I don't want to get into that, but, you know, I went back to the bench. I was talking to him. I said, you know, that's what you look like out there. Is that acceptable to you? And so it was good for him to sit there and see some of those things that are exposed where, you know what, that's what you look like out there. And maybe it's time to put that to rest and grow up a little bit in those positions. So it, it's good in a lot of different ways. Like the way everybody wrestled on their feet across the board? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, we can, yeah. It's good. It's great. We love it. You know, Kielman, the guy two-on-one just figured something out. And they're two-on-one and slow us down, and then he makes an adjustment. That's good. Um, Kemmer, you know, no rolls, no roll. Boom, guy rolls, boom. We catch him because we're ready. We pin the guy. I mean, just more awareness and stuff. And, but, you know, a guy like Laux, you know, get out, get out, get after him, uh, get your offense off quick or whatever. And then, but, you know, the second part of that is, remember, you got to be ready to finish. It's not just get your shot off, and then the guy hips into you hard, you fall down. But uh, he bailed himself out, got some near fall, and a reversal kept him down, and then, you know, got fixed down, and then near fall. So, big win for Phil Laux. You know, you talk about being proud, and that might sound corny or whatever, but you know what? That's kudos to Phil Laux. He's got a year left, too.